down here this morning and trying a few different things today here at the bench. I've been having an issue with this slipping off. So what I've done is uh, put a little carabiner on there, a little knot, and I got that pinned so it won't fall off, but I can hang off the bench. I'm curious if that's going to work today because that's been driving me nuts, this rear bag situation, especially with this stock. I eventually want to do possibly an underhold, but I'm going to make sure it's an underhold that, that I want to do because that is a nice stock there. And I'm going to go with some Ely contact today. Just a clean barrel. And I'll go ahead and show my uh, shooting with you this morning on this Ely. See if I can keep some tight groups. If I'm feeling real good, I'll go for this little uh, is that half inch. And head out to 50 and give her a rip. Okay, out here at 50. Go ahead and share my warm up with you. Ended up with some of this Ely contact by mistake. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, use it up. So my first warm-ups will be up here. Probably be up and high, high and do the right usually. But I'm going to go dead nut at this. Thing. Okay, well, there you have it. It's the Ely Contact, and I'll tell you, that's probably keeping up with most. I don't care what you're buying. And uh, that is a straight-up clean barrel, CZ457 with the MTR barrel, and went at it cold. And honestly, a couple that I pulled off of line was me a little bit. And I will say, my bag setup that I just figured out is working really well. It's super solid. Here, that was probably me, no kidding, guys. So that last shot has deadened up pretty much. So any questions about Ely, uh, Ely contact, there it is. Okay, and here is my level two. Like I said, there's three levels of this. And I am going to use the Ely contact.
and give it a rip. Okay, so did halfway decent, and I yanked a couple, that's me, but I did kick butt on my bonus shots. I hold it on that one, so I got three solid hits on that. Okay, Brian Fox's challenge. I've already hit this, and I think I want to say I used pistol match. I'm not sure the SK, but I'm going to try this with the uh, the contact, and just just see if it's if it's a uh, challenge worthy you know if it's if it's consistent enough i guess i'm saying so back to the uh ely it's an ely contact session today so and back to 50 Okay, guys, started out a little rough. I should have done some warm-up shots. I didn't because of that last challenge, but uh, how would I do on these bonus shots? Because that's the only thing going to save my ass. I got one, two, three. One, two, three of the bonus shots, I believe. I'll take it back to the house scored up, but uh, how many did I miss, I guess, is the question. One, two up top. Uh, and I did, it did start floating uh, low on me right there from that cold so what I'm gonna do at this point those are all the rounds you see me shoot all the rounds so I, I'd say it's probably close to 75 rounds I'm at and it started floating just a little bit I'm gonna take my point one seven seven brushless uh, boar snake and run it through it and then I'm gonna go at this challenge here with the contact so Let's see here. I'm curious, but I am. I'm going to run that boar snake through there and just what it does in a dry snake. I don't put any lube or anything and just get rid of any of them boogers that start to collect in there. And uh, I'm finding that that's uh, kind of the combination on this, this challenge. So let me, uh, I'm going to get rid of this here and take this back. All right, I'm going to see this, show you back at the house. I, I'm pretty, pretty blown away with these results actually. So I'm going to take this back. This is the Ely contact. Actually, let me do this. And go at this sucker. Now, look at them groups though. Man, I'm loving that. And go at this sucker. Now, I am going to 
take full advantage of my warm-ups, cold and warm-up. I'll start at the cold and go right over to the side end. And uh, try not to hit my camera. So if you haven't shot this one, guys, this is a fun one. I love it. These all count. Um, Got to be touching the red or inside. Squirrels, if you hit just the tail on the outside, does not count. But any of the knuckles or anything is going to count. Save a tree, eat a beaver. That's always been my motto. Um, that's how the whole target counts. You plug any part of any of this color, it's good. Bag your deer. Last shot after I shoot my last turkey, I'll go up my deer. And then I'll go up here and hit my five-point bonus. Try to hit my five-point bonus. But uh, I'm going to run that boar snake through and then uh, do some cold and side in. And go right at it. So three shots there, and I did three shots here, I believe. I might have done only two here. You saw it better than I did. Uh, so, what I miss? One, two, three. I only missed three out of that. Okay, for this one here, this is a level two. And what I did is I uh, shot my one shot. So you go around it like I did. One, two, three, four, five. And you get five points for each hit in here. You get three attempts max. So that's already a five-point bonus. So we'll go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did not hit the face there. So that's eight. Miss. Got to hit the red on this. Nine, ten, eleven. That's a 10 point bonus, so that's a 10. So 10 here. I hit three shots on that, that's a 15. You gotta stay within. If you hit the line, that's fine. It counts on the inside, inside line. Okay, so you wanna be at least 60% uh, inside line. You make the call, guys. And then um, this one's a 10 point bonus too. So that's uh, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So I believe I got a 35 on that. Okay, a 35. And I'll be coming out with these. Uh, you can reach out and get level one for this. And I'm going to print some up and hit them too. This is the only one I printed up. I was given kind of a try run. And uh, I've got level one, two, and three. And I'll release them every couple weeks, every week or whatever. Maybe throw a different one in just for a change of targets. But uh, just reach out if you want these. Check the drop down. These are totally free. 
just uh, reach out to me and I'll send you it and you can copy it off and make a video. Or and just a quick reminder on these, um, all, my, all my challenges, I'm going to try now to come out with a video first and show how it's shot. And that way, for a reference, you guys, maybe before you hit the range so you don't waste any ammo or whatever, you at least understand the, the um, instructions or whatever, or just the ruling on it, not instructions. And these are all loose. If you count 110 for each one, it's all good. <laughs> it's just fun stuff for me. I, I like doing it. So these here, this is, you do pay a price if you miss. Okay, these are bonus shots. So if you hit your first shot in the center, you take a five for that. That's awesome. Finish up your target, you're good to go. If you want more points, make up points or whatever, that's when you go at these. Because if you miss, you lose it all. I got it in big red printing there. Optional. Just a heads up, guys. And I will do a little video on each one of these as they come out. And uh, that way you kind of see how they're done. Or I'll try to do a good explanation in the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and playing along. And uh, love your support. And uh, have fun with these. Okay, so there it is, man. It's uh, that's some really good groups. That's about what I would get with any of even this probably. Um, and I have not gotten that with this. I just shot. I picked up. Uh, what was it? Uh, I want to say two hundred rounds of this, and four hundred rounds of the match. And those both those batches, I have not had good groups yet with them. And I'm down to about uh, two boxes each left, or maybe a box. Yeah, right around there. Anyway. Uh, enough of that. This is keeping up with all the other ones, and it is absolutely the cheapest that I that I have gotten. So, um, started out cold, just like anything, one high, and then started coming in, and there you go. I did not touch my scope or anything, guys. I was just going at dead center. So, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, just an honest review of Ely Contact. It's just cold out of the down of the range and everything. So then, um, like I said, is is it challenge worthy? And um, this one here, I shot the pistol match. And this was the video that I shot the coconuts with. Um, I think it was my last video. But I added it to the video, the 100-yard video that I did of Brian Fox's with his 200-yard challenges. Um, so uh, this one was actually shot uh, with the coconut challenge at the end of the day there. So I got a 33 on that. Ironically enough, I matched at a 33 today, this morning. So very interesting. Um, I did start feeling it moving around a little bit with the shots. Now, this was cold. I should have done a warm-up shot. I didn't. But, uh, you know, I think my first shot was here, I think. And that, I should have done a warm-up just to see where I was at. Um, but I did notice I started dropping. I was shooting low. If you look, I'm shooting low. So I started uh, just moving it around, a little overhold. I was literally going to almost 12 o'clock and found it. And uh, so that's when I realized it's time to, that's when I started moving. Probably at this challenge, I would say I was at about the 75 round mark. So when I see my groups anymore start moving, I have a .177 brushless boar snake. I don't use any lube with it or any kind of cleaner. And I'll run it through just to get any loose boogers out of it, like I've mentioned before. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll do a little blow off and I will go at my uh, my grub challenge on that, that next one there. So 33 on that. I got a one, two, three of my bonus shots and I hit all but two barns. So I'll take it. 33 on that. Oh, let me dig through here. Now on this one here. So I did. I did the uh, boar snake thing I'm talking about. And went right at my cold, so it wasn't off from that. And it even got any even tighter on my second side end. And then I went right at these guys. And I pretty much, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hit my bonus, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and hit my other bonus. 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So I got a 26 on this one. And uh, I find that's pretty darn decent. What I do on my last one, you know what? I got this up on my board here. That's a 26. This over here, I forget what I, I got videos on all these, but uh, I put this board up, just ones I've gotten decent scores with. And I basically matched my 26. 
And that's either SK Pistol Match or I think that might be 10X. So uh, very interesting. I matched two of my scores today with, with the Ely Contact. Just totally ironic, guys. But that's what it is. I'm not uh, pumping this too much because I don't know if I just got some good batches or what. But, man, this stuff is shooting really good. And when I got this, you know, I looked at reviews and stuff, and people were saying that they get a lot of flyers and whatnot, and I have not had the flyer situation with these, other than that first cold shot, which would have been this one here. And that's totally normal with Ely Match or anything. I always get one high. And sometimes they're up over here, and then it'll come right back down. That was a little more blow-off than normal. But if you look, both those are two, two shot hits, so that might have been me just warming up. Because I was warming up just like the gun was. So, shot the shit out of the Ely Contact today. And I give it a two thumbs up. And I think it's definitely uh, challenge worthy. And that little trick I did with my bag with that little leash on it. Just like I did with my surfboard, right? <laughs> a little shock cord on there. And it kept the bag from slipping off the table all the way. And I could concentrate on other stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And hope you... Uh, you know, get a hold. If you do get a hold of some contact, I hope it's good batches. Because I've had, uh, I've shot in quite a Okay, no pros. Uh, zombie fever challenge. There's a part three series. This is the first one. And I'm showing in this video, I shot uh, level two. So you start getting sick. You're feeling good. Start feeling it just like COVID. Get your virus. Kind of 911. And then you could save your life. Optional. 10 point bonus. Okay, so you go after your guys, headshots only there. You got to plug your red there. You got to plug any red there for it to count. And then that's an optional last shot, 10 points. If you miss, you lose all points. So that is a total gamble. So challenges one and two, the one I just shot are available. Uh, check my drop down, get a free uh, file to where you can print it up and uh, join the fun. See you down at the range, guys. Now, back to this court. That was a good session with the uh, Ely Contact. Shot, what, three targets? Did very decent. Is it challenge worthy? I think so. You might get a flyer or two, but uh, I didn't get any today. If I missed, it was, it was mainly me. So, and this little cord worked really good. I was fighting this, guys, really. Uh, I was having to hold this bag from falling. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. It was constantly slipping off. So I was had a, I have this whole thing having to end up with a wad of bags here, trying to keep it up on the bench to be comfortable. And now I don't even have to worry about it. Doesn't, it's not real pretty looking, but man, I felt so solid today. I really did. And I do believe that idea worked pretty good. So if you're having a problem with your bag slipping off the edge there, there you go.